We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. five-yard line. It's second down. Steps out of bounds. The 27-yard line. A couple of yards at most on that pass. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 41. We've got to wedge that out. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it fourth and eight. He's taken down at the 39. The Knights' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays for over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. That makes, makes it first from midfield. It's first play. down. I can't believe they even let you play. Oh, hey. well, you. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. down at the 48. More plays like this and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Third down and they need to get it inside the 40. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring, bring up second, second and 11. 11. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. 41's coming. 41's the mic. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. That'll make it third and nine. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike, 41. We've got to wedge that, huh? Ready! 180! One! Quick pass. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Calling a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush. So if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot, this is one way to get them out of that. From their own 41-yard line. First down. Tailback brought down for a loss. That'll bring up second and Steps up. 
And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. They'll line it up again on third down. Four down, four down. Forty-one's coming. Forty-one's the mic. Ready. Wide eighty. There's a strike complete. He's down. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. throw. He's tackling at the 45. That play could not have come at a better time. That was absolutely the perfect time to go with that play on fourth down. From the 45-yard line, first down. They come out in a goal line set. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Lost a five on the play. That makes it second and 14. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Slings it. Tackle made at the 36. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Here we go. The ball pops free. Recovered by the defense. guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Inside give, and they make the stop at the 48-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. First down. He airs it out. Caught with room to work. He scores. What a play. And he converts the extra point. A short three-play, 61-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So the score now, 7-0. Central Florida is lining up to kick this one off. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Knights have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point. But just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Knights. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. Mike 41. He's got a wedge that up. Huh? Oh, oh. Running back picked up about eight on the draw. Oh, 
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And out come the big hefties. Tackle around the 36-yard line. to him and this time they get him in the backfield and he was pretty much stuffed on that run you know what that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum second and 13 ball on their own 33 back to the running back and he gets nowhere loss of one yard on the play that brings up third and 14 20-yard line. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Central Florida is up by a touchdown. Run down after a nice run up the middle. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 42. Check 82. Watch 82. Ball Red two. Makes it out to about the 50. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and 10. Tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. 34's the mic, 34's the mic. He's coming. Check him, check him. Green nine, green nine. Gets it on the pitch. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. 34's the mic. 34's the mic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Set. Blue four. Blue. Set. They'll bring him down right around the 22 yard line. First down. down. What happened? First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Three down, three down. Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Go! He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. They bring him down. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Central Florida is up a score. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He will tackle immediately. Taking back three yards. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. They're going to try a long field goal here. Central Florida can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's good! Everyone 
Hines all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. Across midfield. He goes down at the 42-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires quickly, and he's got his man brought down at the 24. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Stopped immediately. Pretty nice pick up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. South Florida will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Here he goes. And he hits him hard at the eight yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. It's first and goal and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. No gain. That brings up second and goal. Two tights, two tights. Four down, four down. Mike 41, you got to wedge that, huh? And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Check, check. Snake on. Snake on. That makes it third and goal. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Too easy, too easy. This should be an easy field goal. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Central Florida is up seven. Feeds it to the back. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. The Knights with a touchdown lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs ma match up the hype. And we, we talked about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. 
You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, no everybody. Not. Second half Second action half. about to begin. He'll take it from the two. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 37. There was great blocking up front there, and that turned into a pretty good return. You know, the kick coverage looks very slow in getting downfield, and that really gave this young man an opportunity to make a play. Fires it out. Lost the ball. Fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they got him for a loss. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. And he tackles him hard at the 30. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's taken down at the 22. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Tackles him for a loss at the 25-yard line. That, that brings, brings up second, second and 13. 13. From the 25 yard left, line, second down. Mike 41. You've got to wedge that, huh? Here we go. Shut Green 19. Check, check. Motion. Fox 2. Fox 2. And he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain of one yard. yard. That brings up third and 12. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Set, 180. One. Three. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And he's taken down at the 18. Gain of six yards. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. South Florida to kick. Excellent kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Play fake. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. their own 17-yard line. 
It's second down. Central Florida is up by four. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. Here comes the pressure. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Caught, open field. That's a great tackle at the 32. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Quads, quads, quads. Watch 20. Check 20. Check Green. Green. Right. Green on his heart. He's on the run. And down he goes around the 20-yard line. He's going to come up with a sack. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Ready. Check, check. Over. Scrambling around. Tackle around the 15-yard line. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. UCF in front, 10-6. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Here they come. Rose on the run completes. I like the call here, looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. They line up in the jumbo set. Tackle made at the four-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That brings him second and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Watch one, watch one. 41's coming. 41's the mic. 
set. Green in the eight. Oh, 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 He's tackled oh, right around the two yard line. That's a game of two. That makes it So here it is, crucial third down as they try to take the lead. They're packed in tight on the line. Touchdown, and they take the lead. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I think we're getting to the point of who's going to crack first in this game. It's kind of a game of chicken. Which offense is going to be able to go out there and make a play against these two dominating defenses? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. So the sack makes this a second and long. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. So they go to the air and pick up six. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought down in the open field. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump off pass that was good enough for a first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's brought down in the open field. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's at the 30, and he's level at the 28-yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 28. Mike 34. Mike 34. Red two. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Black five, black five. Green nine. He fights forward to about the 26. 
to get back in this game here in the fourth. This third and goal is vital. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead, they've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. Up the middle for a nice game. The Knights taking their first time out of the half. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Here we go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense. And at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out of the field. Gives it left side. Gets out to around the 48. You know, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Set. Green, 88. Green. Ah. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it third and seven. Come on, come on. This one's in the books. The Bulls get the win. 13-10. So Kirk, how do you sum up the action of this one? South Florida came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. <laughs>